the Bills, uh, a couple of things they, they did well against the Patriots. I mean, it wasn't necessarily an easy win against the Bills last time. Mm-hmm. Javius White did a great job on Rob Gronkowski. That's going to be kind of one of the bigger storylines heading into this one is kind of how the, the Bills handle their experience with uh, Rob Gronkowski. I mean, um, Gronk um, sh- kind of shoved White's in, head into the ground, gave him a concussion. Um, White called him a dirty player, kind of backtracked on those comments yesterday. Uh, do you think that that, plays, or like, that kind of uh, animosity plays a role in the game at all? Or? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't really put much stock in what White or the Bills say and say publicly, or even what the Patriots say publicly for that matter. Like, of course he's going to say that they're not going to be seeking revenge. I mean, you'd have to be an absolute moron to go on record and say that, yeah, we're going to try to take that guy's knees out in, in the game. So... We'll see how it plays out. I think that there's there might be an element of that depending on how the game goes. Um, I don't think I think the Bills obviously the primary focus is to win, but I'm sure that's something that's on the back of their mind. So it, that's something that they'll have to to deal with. And I know Gronk when he you, when you do something like that in the heat of the moment, you're not thinking about all the consequences. But that's one of the consequences is that he unfortunately had to play those guys in that team. Uh, three weeks later so it was it's still relatively fresh in in the minds of the Bills I'm sure so there could be something that happens on Sunday I wouldn't be stunned if there was yeah no I mean it'll be uh, something to keep an eye on and I think one of the things that's kind of working in the Patriots favor is actually the Bills record right now let's say the Bills uh, lost one more game they have no chance in the playoffs they have nothing to lose they can afford to lose Tredavious White for the last game of the year it doesn't really matter now Tredavious White is their best cornerback and they are 86 they have a decent chance in the playoffs if they can keep winning they have to beat the Patriots really to, to give themselves a real chance at it and that's going to be tough you can't really risk that opportunity by uh, um, getting yourself a personal foul penalty on, on uh, trying to take a cheap shot on Rob Gronkowski or getting someone kicked out of the game or something like that so um, I think the Bills are, are maybe going to play cautious with that I, I think that um, they'll try to play physical with them but I think they're going to uh, play physical to an extent. I think they're, they're going to be really cautious of uh, making a dumb play that ends up costing them the season just because of, uh, of Gronk's uh, um, shove from last game. Right. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they'll do anything like what Gronkowski did where it's like blatant and, and merits a, a pop, probably an ejection, but there are ways to try to injure a player that are within the, the rules of the game, so I just, I mean, that would be the route that they go. I don't think that they're Thinking that they're gonna like drop kick Gronkowski at the goal line or something like that. <laughs> just I like, just imagine the guy like running all the way yeah. across the field, two feet up, and just taking him out of the chest. Like. Right. Yeah. No. As you said, they'll be physical with him. That's not even a matter of extracting revenge. That's just a, try to, a smart way to try to play him. Like you want to get your hands on him. You want to make it difficult for him as possible. That was one thing in the Pittsburgh game. I think that they didn't really do. Sean Davis was in the vicinity. He was. He had decent coverage at times, but they weren't pressing him that much. They, they weren't really disrupting his route at the beginning of the route. He, he got a lot of just free runs off the field and he torched them. That was the best game of Gronkowski's career. He was unstoppable in that game. So you really want to look at, do everything that the Steelers did not do. So you want to play a little physical with him.